Deepin Linux is adding an integrated AI assistant. AI goodies with Deepin's next upgrade. What do you think? Many of you might be familiar with Deepin, a Debian-based Linux distribution that aims to offer an elegant, user-friendly, safe and stable experience for users all over the world. Its upcoming uh, Deepin V23 release is set to redefine how it carries itself as a distro, with many interesting changes and tweaks being made to achieve that. One such move has been the developers push towards implementing AI features, which saw them become one of the first Linux distro to integrate AI features for Forus and AID app. But there are, they are not stopping there. They have announced a slew of upgrades to the AI features of Deepin, UOS AI, desktop assistant tools, and grand search. Let's uh, see what's in store. Major Deepin AI upgrades, what to expect? Among all the various changes, initially um, we will focus on the uh, three new AI features additions that have been introduced. Thereafter, we will move to some other changes that uh, the developers have implemented. The three new features include a personal knowledge assistant, a deep -end system assistant, and grant search. Personal knowledge assistant. We kick uh, things off with a new a personal knowledge assistant, which is marketed as a personal knowledge manager and is part of the EU OS AI umbrella. It can take in uploaded documents and then convert and arrange them into a knowledge base for future reference. The developers gave an example for how it could be used. For instance, as a research with a wealth of literature by simply asking what are the latest studies on quantum computing? The knowledge assistant can swiftly search for relevant literature abstracts in your knowledge base, helping you stay updated on cutting edge developments. But for it to work properly, they recommend user use a decently powerful CPU, such as an Intel i5, to run the system in this full glory. As everything happens locally with the use of local models, there are plans for introducing GPU acceleration in the near future for better performance. Deeping system assistant. Uh, similarly, there's another assistant that's dedicated to showing user the way around the operating system by answering to queries like what's the shortcut key for screenshots, how to fast forward in the cinema app and more. As you can see above, it features the same interface as the knowledge assistant but with a different use case to it. Grand search. And finally, among the new AI features, we have something called the grand search, which is a cheesy name for an AI power search menu on Deepin that can find emails, code, documents, and more from a simple search query. To bring this all together, Deepin has opened up the model access interfaces so that users can integrate more models with UOS AI, with support for large models in the OpenAI interface format. The devs have also managed to include new functionalities such as aromatic wallpaper switching, language setting adjustments, 
screen mode configuration and more. With this, user can, for instance, say things like change my wallpaper to switch the wallpaper or adjust the screen brightness to 70% for changing the screen brightness. The announcement blog has more details if you are keen on learning more about this update. Want to check it out? All these AI powered features are available to test out on the Deepin V23 RC release, which is a development build setting the stage for the upcoming stable build. Stay tuned for the coverage of that. Okay. I am surprised to see that uh, Deepin is among the first ones bashing uh, for AI features on a Linux distribution. The others are taking it more slowly. What do you think?